So today I am doing um, contouring with cream and the reason why I chose to do contouring um, again because I already have a contour um, video out but it's with powder. It's my Anastasia um, powder kit. So this one is going to be with um, one of my favorites for this month or last month February. Um, the Pure Camel Contour and it's a duo. So it's the highlighting here and the contour, the darker in the other side. So if you guys want to watch this, um, how you contour with a cream um, base, please stay tuned. Um, at the end, I'm probably gonna have blush on because of course I'm gonna edit and I want you guys to see how everything looks. But, um, this video is specifically for the contouring and the highlighting. Okay, guys? Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you that I did every... I have foundation on already, and obviously you can see that I have my eyes done. I just specifically wanted it to stick with this um, cream contour stick that I absolutely love at the moment. Alrighty, guys, so I'm going to contour, and then I figure I should just highlight because I'm contouring, so you want... I like to highlight, I mean contour and highlight together. So usually is right where you contour at, you go like where your cheekbone is at, right underneath that, you, you'll feel it where your bone is at. And um, you do a straight line with this. Now I don't go really far down because when I, I've noticed if I do go far down it kind of droops my face and I am getting older so I don't need to look older or make myself look older unless it's like Halloween then if it's Halloween then of course <laughs> okay so you leave that there um, or I leave it there and then I go down here where my jawline is at I go a little further back um, I was taught that just in case like if you pull your hair back you don't want to have a demarcation line that it stops people know that you have even though you blend it in you can still see a little bit so if you go a little bit further back like behind your ear and put a straight line and same thing over here As you can see, you can also come down right here, right here, and if you have like a double chin or, or like a little bit extra skin, it kind of minimizes that look. And then um, you can do either a little circle of motion um, or like little dots. I don't really go far down because I don't have a big forehead. If you have a like a bigger forehead, you can go a little further down um, to minimize the look of your forehead, so it makes your forehead look smaller. But I already have a small forehead, so I don't need to do that. Um, if you want to, you can do it right underneath here. It makes your it makes your lip look like it's popping out a little bit, like a little pout. And then of course your nose. That I'm not. I'm gonna use this, but with a little brush, and this is just easier for me. And I do have a crooked nose or a bone. I, I wouldn't say crooked nose. I have a bone. Everybody has a bone in their nose, but mine is like flat, and it's it feels like it has been broken before. But I've never broken my nose. Not on wood. Okay. So then I usually go like if I'm gonna put my right in here like almost like next to my well yeah like where your eyebrows at um, and then come down like a straight line I hope you guys understand what I mean like I don't start here I kind of connect it to if I'm gonna go into where I put my eyeshadow at just so I can all blend in See right here is where I have a little bit of a crooked or a bone that is like, it always kind of kicks my um, brush to the side. 
you know, when I was little, people used to always ask me, did you break your nose before? Because you have like a bump right there. And I never understood what they, you know, why they would say that. But now I see what they were talking about. I mean, I never got offended by it. They were just wondering if I, you know, had did sports and fell um, and broke my nose or something. I don't know. But I never really, they weren't making fun of me. They were just asking if I ever broke my nose. And then right here, kind of do a little um, V shape on your nose. It just makes your nose look a little bit smaller. You can do like in here and it makes your nose look a little bit, um, like a little ball right here, but I don't like doing that. I already have a ball as a nose. <laughs> I do, my nose is like, it's not big, but it's just, I don't know, it's like rounded. It's not really pointy in the, I'm right in here. So I don't need to do all that. So yeah, that is the contour. And then I'm going to go into the highlighting. I'm not going to do my highlight underneath. I'm just going to like underneath my eyes because I already did my eyes. Um, I did not highlight today. I did put concealer underneath my eyes, but I didn't really highlight underneath my eyes today. And I'm not going to do it. Um, I already did my eyes, so I don't feel like doing all that. Plus, I'm going to mess up my lashes. <laughs> so, okay. So here I do a straight line with the lighter. And same in the other side. <laughs> same in the other side. Now, you don't have to contour, guys, and highlight every day. This is more for pictures. You're going out at night. You know? In the middle, bridge of your nose. Oops. Why it keeps going down? Don't know. But I do like it. And then little, you don't have to do like the little Indian or lines. You don't have to do that. It depends on what you like to do. I usually do lines or little circles, but not with, this is hard to do with the cream. There you go. You usually can do it right in here. I don't really, a lot of people get red around here. I do not get red around my nose. Knock on wood, I don't. Um, so, I mean, but when I do highlight in here with a V, um, I do go all the way down to here, even though I don't have any redness or anything like that. But, and I think that's it. Yeah, besides up here. That's about it, guys. And, yeah. So now I'm gonna blend it in, guys. So when you blend it in, I love my Real Technique blending um, uh, sponge. Couldn't get it out. And you can either wet it in your sink, squeeze it out. It's just a damp beauty blender or you can wet it with your um, setting spray. Just to wet it a little bit. Yeah. And I start with the light first. Oh my god, I put it all over my, my mirror, so now I can't see. Well, I can see, but it's like blurry. And then just tap the light first. This is so, this product is so easy to blend. It's, I really, really enjoy it. It's thick, but not, it, it's, like I wouldn't I don't want to put it underneath my eyes. I think it will be too thick for me because I said this in my last my my favorite um tutorial. Excuse me. I am gonna be 40. Well, let me clear this up. I'm 38. I'll be 39 this summer. So next year I'll be 40. Okay. And you know, I do see fine lines underneath my um eyes. So I don't put a lot of concealer under my eyes because I tend to look cakey so I take it easy and because I do not have any dark circles unless I don't drink water if I don't drink water the day before I do have dark circles the next day but I I'm such a gym freak that I'm always drinking water the only time I really don't drink water is kind of like in the weekends when it's like my like you know my cheat day and I'm like more like I want to eat pizza and I totally forget about drinking water 
Um, that day is just to relax and not worry about food because I'm pretty anal with my food um, throughout the week. So I give myself one or two days um, to just cheat and not worry about, you know, I have to drink water, I have to drink or eat, you know, salads and so. But back to what I was saying. I don't really get dark circles underneath my eyes, thank God. Um, so I don't have to put too much concealer on. Um, and I don't like to look cakey. I find when I do put um, really a lot of concealer, I do look cakey. So, and it's with I have tried every um, concealer, and it just seems that I I crease up, I cake up, and I put the Laura Mercier underneath, and it just doesn't work. work does not work for me. I look better with less concealer. Does that makes sense. That was long because the way that I explain stuff <laughs> is forever. Oh my gosh. I okay, and then um, you can pick where you want to go first. I'm just gonna pick, and I kind of bend a little bit. I mean, there, there, I'm not sure Real Technique has a smaller one, like a baby little um, blending sponge. I know I have little small ones, but they're not Real Technique, they're up there, I'm plugging it. So I kind of bend it a little bit. And I tap, just tap it on into my skin. Tap it into my skin. I have like a hair right here. And same thing here. Hey guys, if you guys are not following me on um my snapchat or Instagram you guys should follow me I'll put it at the end like what's my my name on there or you know so you guys won't forget I mean it's cans forever one and the other one's cans forever dot two so I'll put it at the end okay so that goes I usually do my nose at the end that's up to you but that's what I do at the end like the contour because I use my finger and then See how I'm just like um, tapping? Again, I didn't put a lot of cream on um, because my, on my forehead because I do have a small forehead, so I don't want to minimize it more than what it already is. Starting to see how it's shaping up my face a little bit. It's so pretty. I, I like to contour. I don't contour every day, of course. Like I said, it's only for like pictures and videos and stuff. Or going out at night. That's that's when I contour. So I'm down here. I'm just gonna kind of tap in the same way. And I do have like a, a notice as I'm getting a little bit. I'm getting this, and I work out all the time. So if anybody knows anything like to like bring that skin up, well, actually I have a friend that she's gonna I'm gonna get um, a product from her. Okay. And see if it works. Otherwise, if that doesn't work, I'm gonna get my fillers in here. Because I said it before, I say it again, I get Botox because I believe in if if the products are not working for you, I do believe in tweaking here and there. That's just me. When you get my age, then you then you can judge. If you are my age and you don't do anything, God bless you. <laughs> but I totally believe in freaking tweaking here and there. I swear to God, I do. All right, so in this contour, so you just kind of go up a little bit. Don't go down to your cream, to your um, where you highlighted at. Look at those hairs. Oh my God. My sideburns. I swear. I'm like Elvis. Presley, I think I said that before too. <laughs> See how that's looking? Oh my god, that's so pretty. It's so easy to do, guys. You just gotta keep practicing. And if you mess up, don't worry about it. Just keep trying. Like I say, don't start practicing when you're going out. Okay? Start practicing a week before two weeks before you going out like start now like when you're not doing anything um why not practice makes perfect
Look at that. And I still, like, I'm not done. <laughs> oh, I forgot here. I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna, I have two, well, I have, I have a whole bunch of real technique. Okay. I've got a light one, and I'll switch back to where I was using the dark one. Switch back. They look the same, but look. <laughs> Okay, and then right here, we hide. Oh my gosh! I forgot my chin. Come on now, Cynthia. Oh no, wrong one. See, we're just, you know. You forget, go back. <laughs> I bake okay I don't bake all the time again um, but I just want to show you what I mean all right so I use the Laura Mercier you can use any translucent powder I just spilled it all over that you would like or that you prefer okay that works for your face I just spilled it all on my pants maybe I should put it like a towel and then a, a damp beauty blender Now usually when I do um, do underneath my eyes, I do put this also underneath my eyes. Um, but so don't forget to bake there also. All right, great. And you put the translucent powder where you put your highlighting at. A straight line. Okay, same thing the other side. the other side see and I still didn't blend my nose in guys don't worry about that I worry about it at the end okay that you guys don't mind that I didn't do underneath my eyes um you know that is your preference and I like I said I don't really like doing too much underneath my eyes and because I already put con um, concealer on I didn't want to cake it on again so and I am keeping this makeup on all day so I hope you guys don't mind now once I do that I go in with my um, a powder and put it on top of my cream just so I can set that in if that makes sense um, because it is a cream base so you don't want it to be sliding around so I'm actually gonna use my Kevin Akon, um, Kevin Akon um, new I had it for like two months already three months two months something like that and I haven't used it so you can use your Anastasia and just tap it in Put it where you put your your cream contour. I love the way it's packed, like the little, the the how it it came in the little this little thing. What's it called? Whatever. I think it's cute. It's tiny, but cute. Tiny but cute. Alright guys, so I'm going to, with my fingers, kind of blend this in. Same thing over here. I know I don't do it traditionally like a lot of the girls. Um, it's just, just, this just works for me. Okay, and then 
I got the Sigma on 3D precision brush. So I'm gonna put the little the powder, the Kevin Aucoin on top of that cream. And down here. Okay, now what you do next is get a, a blending brush, a buff brush. Um, this works for me, so I start start with the white again and kind of go up. Here. And brush that out. Now, so usually I have a heat, if, not usually, but whenever I do have my eyes, I do that and I wipe it off like that. Now, a little bit. Okay. So this is um, the look um, with the cream with the cream contour. I really, really like this. I mean, obviously, I put it in my favorites last month. So I, if you guys um, go get it, cause it's just it's you can go get it online or you can get it on Ulta. It's just really easy to do. Um, and if you don't get it the first time, guys, just keep practicing. I will, like I said, practice before you're going somewhere. Um, don't practice this day of, cause this is gonna get you frustrated and you're excited about going out, and then all of a sudden you have like you, you it doesn't look right, and you get pissed off, and then you get pissed off at me, and then you want to just come in, punch me in the face. Um, <laughs> so just practice beforehand, even though it's very creamy. If it's your first time, you want to get some practice. If you guys like this video, please subscribe, please thumbs it up, and please comment. And also, guys, my favorite video, the video before this, um, I I am giving something away. So if you guys want to know what it is, go into that video. I'll link it. And then, um, um, what do you call it? Uh, then the, the rules are there. What do you call it? What do you call it? So the rules are there. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. And yeah. Oh. <laughs> Bye.